Rivalries don't need to last forever. But we know that Cobra Kai is going to use every dirty trick in the book. There's only one way we're going to be able to beat them. By kicking their asses so hard, they s*** themselves. Cobra Kai Season 4 is premiering in December 31st. It's gonna kick ass. So I just gotten the first trailer for the fourth season of Cobra Kai. We already know what is set up for season four, basically the tournament. Supposedly if Chris loses, he's gonna leave um, the valley. Johnny and Daniel joining forces, kind of balance between the two. Johnny's, you know, more, I guess the dark side. So there's good and evil and, you know, got Hawk. Um, on the side of Miyagi-Do and Eagle Fang, Robbie, Johnny's son, um, still fighting for Kreese. They're gonna be dangling that carrot through the whole fucking series, and that's what's gonna keep us watching it. We also have returning from Karate Kid 3, Terry Silver, who's going to be a foe against the Eagle Fang and Miyagi-Do. The third season, they, they kind of wrapped it up where that would have been a perfect ending, honestly. It's a huge hit and it's really good. I love it, but I also want it to know it's time to let go because some of the best series get out while the going is good. So they're gonna have this last tournament. They got their feet wet, but now they're you know, just jumping all in, can cannonball style. <laughs> I am excited. Now they basically already jumped the shark. You know, they peaked and gave us all we wanted with the fan service alley with an appearance, Kumiko from Kredika 2, and now also Terry Silver, and Chosen from their last previous season. Really, I mean, they're gonna have to introduce more villains or just keep it going with Kreese and Silver, but I don't really know how long that's gonna keep going without it getting redundant. But we'll see, I mean, if you know if they can keep it going and make it feel organic and not forced, then I'm all for it. You know, and also they could have more villains in the high school, you know, and some, younger uh villains i mean they've already established the bullies with hulk maybe he's just using this as leverage um to get back at them sweep the leg basically the ultimate revenge to get back at dimitri and dimitri accepting his apology it just doesn't feel realistic i'm excited nonetheless so what's your thoughts they're not the only ones teaming up Thank you for watching and please subscribe.